So I wanted to do a video on grip strength. So you may have seen like big Olympic lifters, big power lifters, you see uh, arm wrestlers, you see wrestlers, you see fighters, climbers, all these people have one massive thing in common and it is their grip strength. So no matter what the sport is, even if you guys just do some training, you do bodybuilding, anything like that, your grip strength is gonna be something that will help you do way more in other areas that you've not done before. Now, a lot of people work on laptops and work on a desk, which is destroying their grip strength. It destroys their mobility in and around the forearms. And here's a few of my top tips to try and help, first of all, get rid of that, help your mobility get a little bit better, and then ways to get your grip super strong so the next time you have to shake someone's hand you can crush them so first we're going to start with a roller so this one just got off my proteins website really spiky ball if you don't have one of these you can buy one if you if you don't you can just get something else uh, like a cricket ball or uh, anything online they're not too expensive I'm going to target two areas for your grip and one is the inside of your forearm and the others on the outside so quite often like I have a lot of issues with this from CrossFit and gripping a bar and doing gymnastics and other things is I'll get some pain that might make my arm go a bit numb uh, it'll shoot down my arm and also impinge like my grip so one of those main issues is like tightness in here so I do spend a lot of time on a laptop as well and you're in this position so you kind of like type in here and your finger are doing lots and lots of work and if you look and maybe you can see it maybe you can't as I move my fingers you can see where the top part of your upper forearm moves so you are moving that but you're moving it under a stressor also as I move my fingers you can see how the inside part of my forearm down here moves as well so where that moves at its peak that's where we're going to work on making it a little bit more supple and open up so you don't even have to do a lot of rolling of this if you don't want literally grab it in your hand and you want to just start working working your way through you'll feel a little bit of like gristle in there you might have a little bit of feedback from your body I mean if it hurts too much just stop but you want to try and work your way following where those fingers have been moving draw a line from your elbow straight across and just follow that along and get into that and just keep working your way through the next one is the inside one and that can be quite difficult to get so you want to try and find a wall or like a straight surface pop this onto the wall and you put the inside of your forearm and we're going to roll it through there so pushing in on there rolling that in and all those spikes in there and hopefully that will open up your forearm a little bit so that's the first thing we're going to do every time you start looking at your grip even before you start doing some of your normal training just have a look at opening up those two parts of your forearm Spike ball will do it, not expensive and a good place to start. The next one I want to do is if you have access to some equipment, this is obviously for when you can get into a gym. If you do have kettlebells and dumbbells at home, this is the key stuff that you can be doing at home. Otherwise, if you don't have a kettlebell, look for something else that's going to be hard and heavy to grip. It could even be a suitcase. It could be anything that you grip in your hand. Shopping bags, fill them with tins, fill them with bottles of water. Make something that's equally going to be as heavy that you can hold in your hand. But I've got a kettlebell, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with a kettlebell. So, popping that down, we're going to grab the kettlebell. Now, we're going to do some walks with the kettlebell. So just walking up and down. But the key difference here is we're not just going to hold it in your normal flat position. I'm going to tilt my hand inside. So as I walk with the kettlebell, it's not going to be down. It's going to be tilted up. So that difference between here is you're actually engaging this inner part of your forearm. So when it's flat, you see that this is flat tilt up this suddenly pops out a little bit and that means that's really tight now it's really working and it's going to be under for some fatigue so this is what we want to do put it under a fatigue so we're going to grab this tilt inside and we're just going to walk but make sure we keep tilting that inside of that grip change hands so remember not flat we're going to tilt really wrap your hand around it so you see how the wrist thumbs coming over and it's really wrapped inside this is engaged i'm going to walk with the kettlebell so 
So that's how you can use a kettlebell with that inside grip. So remember, not pushing down, you're gonna tilt in, really bring your thumb completely over and engage that inside. Doing that for 10 minutes, walking, changing that around, your grip will be fried, but you're gonna actually work the muscle, not just fatigue it and make it tight. You're gonna really make that grow. Next one is gonna be with a dumbbell or something significantly lighter than what you've just done for that. So I've gone and grab you a smaller, lighter dumbbell. This is a super easy one you can do if you're sat watching something, watching television, if you're listening to music, if you're just taking a break from working at home in the middle of the day, you think my grip needs to be stronger, so what am I gonna do? So we're gonna stand here and we're gonna take the dumbbell in your hand. You're gonna let it go loose in your fingers at the bottom. And what you're gonna do is slowly contract that up and allow it to come back down again to the bottom of your fingers. So remember, you've got a big gap here. You're holding it in the bottom part of your fingers. You're gonna try and curl that up and release it back down again to the bottom. And what you wanna do is just do some sets of tens of those. So we're gonna go again into here, so allowing that big space, curling it up and bringing it back down again, curling it up and bringing it back down again. And this one does hit the outside, hits the inside and really pull that wrist up towards you, bring the fingernails up and release it back down to that grip and pull it up again. So that's using the dumbbell, another area where we can target the key parts of your forearm. It's gonna make your grip even tighter and stronger. This one with, is with some plates. So yet again, I know I've got equipment at the moment and you might not have equipment, but this is something that you can do with a really heavy book. And it's just gonna be really simply grabbing hold of the plate. So it's something nice and thin, but heavy. This can, like I said, it can be with books. If it can be something else that you can find, like bits of wood do really well. And you want to be actively engaging that grip. So we really wanna be squeezing it. So not just holding it, but squeezing it. Now, the idea here is that you're gonna let it go and catch it and do lots of these. So let it go and catch it. So really squeeze it, let it go and catch it. You might wanna pull them up a little bit as you do it. Depends how fast you can be with that grip. So if I pull them up, I wanna grab them. Pull them up, grab them. Again, pull them up, grab them. And they're gonna get harder. So again, sets of 10 with this and then a rest period is really good. So we're gonna grab them and grab them. And then we eventually want you to be able to get to the point where you can have it in front of you. You can throw it up and catch it, throw it up and catch it. But again, just with your fingers, Throw it up, catch it, throw it up, catch it, throw it up. Ooh. And that gets the inside, the outside, your fingers, everything gets on fire from doing those. Also looks pretty cool, especially if you can do it when your family are around, they're gonna think that you're Hercules and that you can squeeze and crush things without knowing the deep burn pain that you get from inside. But your grip is all getting better here and this stuff will help you deadlift, it will help everything that you do when you have to use your hands and do some grip. The last thing I'm gonna do takes a little bit of setting up, so you'll see me set it up, but we'll go a little bit quicker. And it's gonna be using something like a broom handle or like the inside of a dumbbell if you've got interchangeable dumbbells. You need here some rope, string or a band and then some part of weight at the end. And this is actually a really old strongman circus routine. They used to do a lot more weight than we're gonna do, but it was to show grip strength. They used to rip up phone book uh, pages, used to rip like uh, books up with the bare hands. This is how they did it. Just take some weighted plates if you've got them, it's really good, because you need something that you're gonna pass this through. So we're gonna pass this through here. Okay, I've got a band and we're just gonna tighten that up. So now we've got the ability to hang it and we've got a little bit of weight. And we're gonna do the same with the other side. Okay, I don't know if this is gonna work. Yep, okay, so now we have band attached to some weights Attach something that we can spin around in our hands. We're gonna hold it in front of us and then we're gonna keep spinning. And the idea is to try and get the weights to come off the floor. And this is so horribly hard. And ravel up and keep bringing the weights higher. You'll see from the inside, that band is raveling all the way up now. The weight's coming off the floor. The forearms are on fire. Until we finished. 
we put it down, have a rest. Now, forearms are completely and utterly pumped now of just one of them. So all you have to do is 10 minutes, give yourself one, let them completely rest for two, three minutes, do it again, rest for another two, three minutes, aim for like four or five sets of them. I'm definitely not doing it again. You've seen me do it once. But the idea is get something that's round, something that you can tie one piece to it, you can tie some part of weight at the bottom, give you tie it around a can of soup and tie it around a broom handle and you turn and twist and turn and twist until that rope's completely wrapped up and the weight is at the top. If you want to do it like me, really, really stupidly, that is super hard, but your grip is going to get improved no end. So we've used some plates and gripped with our fingers and we've learned how to throw it. We've talked about how the inside of how you grip with a kettlebell or a heavy bag can also help you grip. And a super old, couple of hundred years old, in fact, a uh, strongman trick that they would do on stage and they were doing the circus. And it's looking at all of that to make sure that your grip super strong. When you're allowed back in a gym, you're gonna destroy it. And like I say, when you shake someone's hand, you can make them cry this time. So hopefully you've learned a few tips from me about improving your grip. Take it from me, I've had over a three times body weight uh, deadlift when I was competing in powerlifting. Grip is the key to that. You can have strong legs, strong back, but if your hands can't keep hold of it, you're done. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. Check out all the other videos that I've got going on at the moment. And yeah, see you next time. Don't crush my